Okay, let's look at the hyperbolic cosine of x. So the question is to graph it. And in this video, I just want to show you a really neat way to graph it. So let's look at the hyperbolic cosine of x. Well, this is the average of e to the x and e to the negative x. That's how I memorized the formula. I know it's the average. And by using the fact that it's the average of e to the x and e to the negative x, we can actually draw the graph. So let's do that. So this will be the x-axis. And this will be the y-axis. Okay, and first let's graph e to the x. So e to the x looks like this. There's e to the x. I'm going to make it a dotted line. So e to the x is this faint fading dotted line. So that's e to the x. And now let's look at e to the negative x. e to the negative x is the faint fading red line. So e to the negative x. And so now let's look at the hyperbolic cosine. Let's try this color here. So according to this, it's the average of e to the x and e to the negative x. So it's the average of the y values. So for example, let's take this x value here. And if we look at this tiny little y value here and this y value here, and we compute the average of those y values, maybe it's here. It's a pretty bad picture, not drawn to scale, but pretend that the average is there. So that's the hyperbolic cosine of x, right? If you add up this distance, and you add up this distance, and you divide by 2, this is the y value you get, right? Because these are y values, right? So if you add them up and divide by 2, you get another y value. That's this y value here. Again, if you pick, say, this x value here, and you measure this y value and this y value, and you add them up and divide by 2, maybe you get a y value that's here. That's the hyperbolic cosine. So you keep averaging the y values, and you get lots of dots, right? And if you connect those dots, you get a curve, right? It's, it's a beautiful thing. You get a curve that looks something like this. I wish I was a better artist. And so this purple line here, this is the graph of the hyperbolic cosine of x. So just a neat way to think about the graph, right? It's the average of e to the x and e to the negative x. Uh, really, really, really nice uh, function. I hope this helps someone out there.